Welcome to the Primitive Lifeways channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss one of my favorite ropes and the rope that I would recommend carrying out in the field. So stick around, we got a great show coming up. All right, folks, so I want to welcome you back. And as you can see, we have three different kinds of rope on the ground here. And I'm going to cover each one, but you know, when it comes to selecting a certain type of cordage, there's really no right and wrong. It honestly comes down to personal preference and what you're most comfortable with. But what I wanted to do is give you my input and give you a list of things that I look for when selecting a cord. Then I'll show you what I prefer in the field. And then of course, I'll put it to its strength test and show you how multi-purpose it can be. So, I want it to be cost effective. It has to have good strength, helps aid me in firecraft, is multi-purpose, holds knots well, breaks down smaller, and does not have a foul smell. And really, that last one is very important, especially when it comes to primitive trapping, deadfalls and snares, so forth and so on. There are areas in the Southwest and much of the West Coast where it is very, very remote and secluded from any building. For example, here in Yavapai County in the Prescott area, Williamson Valley is very, very remote. So when setting up primitive traps and snares, if you have something that has a foul odor, that tends to detour the animal away from the trap instead of luring him in. Well, that's quite important. So we'll first cover the military grade 550 cord. It's not as cost effective. It has excellent strength. Doesn't really help aid me in firecraft with the exception of primitive fire, specifically the bow drill. It holds a decent knot. Certain knots tend to slip out just because of the nylon shelling on the 550 cord. It does break down smaller. We can break this down to seven inner strands and it doesn't leave a foul scent. So this is a very viable option for setting snares and deadfall traps up. Our bank line, again, it's fairly expensive. It has good strength. It doesn't really help aid me in firecraft with once again, the exception of primitive fire, specifically the bow drill. It holds an excellent knot. So that's something to keep in consideration when choosing a rope. It does break down smaller, but it also has a very foul scent. So this is something that I tend to rule out when it comes to deadfall traps and snares. And then lastly, we have a natural plant fiber. This is hemp rope. And this is what I prefer to carry out in the field just because of how multi-purpose it is and how well it functions with many crafts and tasks when it comes to bushcraft and field skills. So it's very cost effective, has good strength, helps aid me with firecraft, including primitive fire. It holds a knot well, it breaks down smaller, and it does not have a foul smell. So again, I prefer plant fibers. Uh, the hemp rope is definitely the viable option, and that's what I keep in my pack. So without further ado, I want to show you how well this performs to basic field craft tasks. So the first thing I want to do before getting into the strength test is I want to go over the hemp cord's fire use. So what I want to do is just look at its natural twist and I want to twist away from it and start separating the fiber. So we'll just break that away and we can now separate each strand from the main line. I'm just going to process a small amount if I was really relying upon fire, of course I would wanna process a lot more just so I can sustain that fire. That should be fine. Take our knife and cut that off. Set the main line to the side. And at this point, I can break each strand down further. So I'll just create an opening. And we'll just twist down 
and you can see what we're after. We're after that inner fiber. See how fine that breaks down. And I'll just keep on working at my tinder bundle. Now we have a very small amount processed, so I'll hit this with a metal match and we'll create flame. Simple as that. What I want to do now is just run a couple strength tests on this hemp line. Now keep in mind when it comes to any natural vegetable fiber, it's just not going to have the same strength as a synthetic material such as 550 quarter bank line. However, it does have enough strength to hold up to any basic and advanced bushcraft tasks such as building shelter, deadfall traps and snares, hauling lumber, so forth and so on. So I have this twisted up, therefore we are doubling its strength. I have one end lashed onto this pine tree and then the other end is lashed onto this dead and down cottonwood branch. And I'm just going to pull on it and put quite a bit of tension in this line and demonstrate how well this holds up. So you can see I have enough tension on this line to keep it tight, but I'm also moving that pine tree back and forth. So yes, hemp line is pretty damn durable. And I'll put more weight on it. We'll start really pulling back. And that's about as far as I want to take it. When working with natural vegetation, you quickly learn your limits. But we do have quite a bit of tension in this line. So it'll definitely hold up, and now we'll move on to another test. Now what we'll do is we'll take that same line and we'll wrap it around one of my trapping stones. This is right around about 65 pounds. And we'll just pick it up, see if that line budges or starts to break. I can tell you it's not going to though. As you can see, it holds up quite well. All right, folks, so that's just about gonna wrap this one up. As you can see, the hemp rope is definitely a very viable option with field craft tasks. But the most important thing is getting out in the landscape, learning from the earth and spending time with it. That's so important in a day of technology where it literally rules everything in the common person's life. So with that, I do appreciate you joining me for this video. I'm Jeff with PrimitiveLifeways.com. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and get out there and experiment with that hemp rope. It's good stuff.